Please welcome the comedy magic of John Farentino. Here he is. Hey, let's have a round of applause for the captain and John. Give them a round of applause. That captain's a funny guy, huh? Yes, he is. I have to say that he's my boss. Okay, so uh, you guys buy everything there was to buy in the ship? If you forgot to buy anything, don't worry about it. In another hour or so, everyone's luggage will be out in the hallway. <laughs> Just take whatever the hell you want. It's what we call here at Royal Caribbean the Shop and Run Program. Start up on the upper decks, that's where the good stuff is. How many people have to fly back tomorrow? Woo! Woo! Here's a good thing you do if you fly tomorrow. If you get bored, wait till the guy next to you falls asleep. Put on your life jacket, wake him up, and run down the aisle. <laughs> Apparently, you didn't hear. <laughs> a lot of entertainers come out, a lot of flash, flare, and color. That's the actual one, and here it is. Thank you. Watch. Ooh. Relax, it's something you couldn't do for $29.95. <laughs> they got all my stuff tied down because of the storm. First magician I ever saw in my life did a trick with a piece of rope. He said, there's a piece of rope with two ends and a center. Took the rope like this, put it in his hand, pulled it up like this, and then took a scissor. Said, I'm going to take the rope, I'm going to cut it like this. He cut the rope, and he said, we have here two equal pieces. And I said, well, they're not exactly equal. He goes, well, give me a second. Took them like this, stretched it like this. Then he took the rope, he placed it in his hand, he said, I'm going to make this rope go back together. Placed all the pieces in his hand like this, took the scissor, tapped it like that, and said, there it is, back to one piece. <laughs> and I said, wait a second, that's not really back to one piece. He said, watch. Yeah, it is, look. <laughs> so I said, well, I don't really understand this. He goes, all right, let me give you an instant replay. I took the rope like this, I placed it in my hand. I took it like this, I cut it. It wasn't evil. So I took the pieces of the rope like this, and I stretched it just like this. And I took the rope like this, and I tied it in a knot. And I go, yeah, I'm with you so far. And he goes, and I took the rope like this, I tied it up like this, and the rope came back together like that. And I said, what about the knot? He goes, we can just get rid of that, just like that. <laughs> All right, I need a volunteer. I need an adult male to come up here, adult male. Yeah, sure, come on up here, sir. Give him a round of applause. What is your name? Ray. Ray, how you doing? <laughs> All right, Ray, and make sure you're the right guy because we're going to do a mentalism trick here with you. We're going to do a quick test. What I want you to do is put your left hand out like this. We have here a bag with some different color balls in it. We have a yellow ball, pink ball, blue ball, two of those. One. Two pink, two yellow. No other balls. I take one of the yellow ones, one of the pink ones, one of the blue ones, place them in the bag and I give it a shake. I want you to close your hand around all three balls. Become psychically involved. That was so there, dude. That was good. All right. Drop them in the bag. Now I'm going to shake up the bag. You're going to reach inside, take it a ball. Then I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to take it a ball. We're going to turn our hands over. Hopefully the balls will match. Take out a ball. Keep your hand closed. Don't tell me what it is. Just take one. All right. I'm going to take this like this. Bring it out here like this. Open your hand. All right, let's do it again. It could be a coincidence. Reach inside, take another ball. All right, hold it. Your hand in front of you just like this. All right, hold your hand out like this. Oh, they're laughing. They're laughing. They're laughing because they think they're all blue. All right, do it again. Just take another one. All right? Concentrate on the color. All right, here we go. That was pretty good, man. All right, do it again. Read inside, take another ball. Take out another ball, just take a ball. Concentrate on the color. Don't tell me what it is. 
Oh, man. All right, look, do me a favor. Look me right in the eye. Take another ball. Take another ball. <laughs> Got it? I wouldn't want to screw you up. All right. One more time. All right, let's go again. All righty, I think you'll do fine. It's the world's coolest card trick. I call it that because I invented it. I call it, oh, we're not done. Get back here. We have here an ordinary deck of cards, which I've had downsized. All right. Normal deck cards. Okay, it's not a full deck because I never play with a full deck. What I want you to do is just tell me when to stop. stop. Take a card like this, hold on to it, put your hand over it just like this. All right? What you're going to do is I want you to look at the card and memorize it. Do you memorize the card, Randy? All right. What I want you to do is return it back to the deck, anywhere you want. <laughs> I'll see if I can find it. Go ahead. All right. I have a couple of tries here. I could do that. The four of clubs. Oh, jeez. I'm not even going to bother going with that. That was just a joke. All right, actually, I had the card appear on this table inside this wallet. Your card was the three of hearts. Nope. Now, don't show it to me yet. Four of hearts. Nope. Five of hearts. Nope. Six of hearts. Eight of hearts. <laughs> Eight of diamonds. Nine of spades. Four of hearts. <laughs> See anything in there you like. No, huh? No. Well, it doesn't matter because I was so sure that I was going to pick your card. I had a banner printed. I'm going to show everyone what the banner is. And you're going to tell them whether it's right or wrong. The card was the three of spades. No, what was it? Four of spades? Oh, geez, this must be the missing spade. <laughs> All right, let's give a nice big round of applause. My name is John Barrettino. Thank you very much. Good night. Ladies and gentlemen, John Barrettino. And now, please.